thunderstorms. Pointless There's point. thunderstorms. You guys ready? Stay home. Don't go out. It's raining. It's just me and you. I want to go to my stay place. I love you guys. We love you. See you later. Let's talk about reform guys. Rubio goes on to support the president, saying the president was deeply impacted as any person should be after being briefed on such a horrific horror, horror, horror crime. Let's get some more sport now with Yvonne Sampson. Hey, Yvonne. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. The North Queensland Cowboys. Oh, you've done it again, haven't you? It's good. It's good. It's a rookie error right there. He's, he's, he, look, he blunts them. <laughs> just, just, ra just rack them and stack them, people. See, first of all, uh, letter F. So an F, it can be first name, last name. Fiona thinks she's the person with the letter F in your life. <laughs> Of course, I can't believe I forgot about my dear Fiona. You are the F in my life, Fiona. Let's catch up with the weather. Chris Fox has the details. Hi, Chris. Hi, Joanna. Well, things are uh, improve. Things are improving. Oh, oh, you're over there. Are you going to come back over here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Radio, who was once one of the most sought after actors in Hollywood, and now Richard Gere has pretty much gone from Tinseltown. He's gone off the map. What's happened? He's disappeared. If you go back to the 90s, he was in almost every woman, pretty woman, every movie, rather, pretty woman, <laughs> an officer and a gentleman. Coming up on 13 Action News Live at midday, we are getting our first look at the man who stabbed his young son and ex-girlfriend before killing himself. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm going to ask Channel 9 for a G-spot. You can only find that park yourself, Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my experience. Or with the help of... <laughs> Something else. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably welcome news for some areas because this is a part of the state. Dee Dee looks a little tired out there, doesn't she? <laughs> well, the rain continues to overspread the area. We'll be checking with Dee Dee. I see you standing over there with your body. I'm going to rock with your body. What are you and doing? As long as you know where I'm going. Seriously. See ya. Better run now. <laughs> I'm going to look at the forecast while they sing. Let's go ahead and take a look Wait at this morning. Wait a minute, we're live on TV right now? <laughs> yes! What? Nobody gave us a joke. Are you serious? Yes, Nobody I'm serious. Are you guys, you guys really not know? Oh my Wait God. a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do neither no. of you know that? Oh. No! <laughs> Let's look. Just... Are we are we on the graphic? We're all, oh I God. cannot believe. Okay, let's 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 reel this back in. Let's start talking about the weather. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. This note written in rocks is actually relating to her or not? But wow, that was really dramatic. There's a reason they call these people heroes. I mean, they were going at a really good clip there. We've had some hot weather. I guess you know the good news is, yeah, send. What does that say? Send something, please. Let's say help. Um, well, but it looks it was, like the uh, the hiker or the, that young woman appears to be okay physically. Uh, looks like it was a uh, successful operation. Oh, shit, shit, shit. All right, thanks, John. We had another problem clear out Highway 17 South. ...is how do democracies respond to those scandals. Uh, and what will it mean for... Uh, for the wider region, I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift, shifting, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um, pardon me. That's pardon right, me. Um, my apologies. <laughs> um, what is this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, Sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been... But like me on 285, I get around, round and round, round we go every Friday. Mark Aram is standing by. Good right. morning, Linda. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, everyone. All I need in this traffic life of sin is me and my girlfriend. That's Ashley Frasca with Good News on 85. Yesterday morning, Linda, was horrible ride on 85. You know, that's the way it is. Some things will never change. Hopefully this morning, things will be better on 85. We go to the maps, looking good so far. There. The time of the morning, we go up over your drive to work. Joining us on the north side perimeter, Mark McKay, untouchable like Elliot Ness.
and no visibility problems here in Sandy Springs. Yeah, we have been monitoring trouble, though, on I-285 in Fulton County. Mark McKay, let's show these people how we do it over this west side, because you and I know it's the best side. Yeah. It's a crash in from Lawrenceville on 85 South. Of course, you can depend on Mark McKay, like the first and the 15th, to be up over the scene. And on the Captain Cam, yep, this uh, crash is on the right shoulder. You know, all eyes on me as we take a look at 285 this morning. Mark Aram giving you the traffic the way that you want it. Mark, how do you want it? I want it uh, nice and easy on the north side. This was a close race, but only for a short while. Once the votes and ballots started rolling in from, excuse me, uh, one of the larger uh, counties or some of the larger counties. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Northern Iowa comes back to win it in dramatic fashion. Last Saturday, the Panthers didn't look very good against Iowa State. Presidential candidates roaming around like we needed more craziness out here with all the tailgating and all the spirit there is out here. But uh, it's it's the sci -Hawk game. I guess anything goes. Fred Hoiberg is still the mayor of Ames. No doubt. Well, I've long been an Easter, shit sto Easter show staple. <laughs> Speaking of do-it-yourself, that's your kind of thing, Maria. You love doing it yourself. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Sometimes, yeah. I, I can. Take a look at the next five days ahead. What we have coming our way, we have... <laughs> <laughs> start. Okay. Good morning. We're back to reality. <laughs> Venture early if you plan to. Woo! Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. There's a bug. <laughs> I just literally scared the crap out of me. I'm so sorry. We are seeing this temperature start to rise up as we head throughout the rest of the week. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. One low off the coast, another one moving in on Thursday. That'll bring us another round of rain. I hope I didn't lose that. I really like that earring. So the exclusive AccuWeather 70 forecast, it's down there. Tomorrow, drier areas northwest, rain across parts of South Jersey and Delaware. The high is 71 degrees. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Thank is that you. it? Thank you. That's it, <laughs> He's such a team player. Melanie Vukovic, ABC News, Mount Sylvia. Now to sport with Meredith Shand. Is there something going on here, Christy, that I don't know about? Yes, that's my girl. That's this my is, daughter out there. This is your daughter. <laughs> okay, Say hi, Mom. Mom hi, Mom. You've done so good. <laughs> Thank you for helping us kick this back off. The weather kid ought back off. I was so happy to have Ivy but in the Weather Center with But just don't steal my guys. job, okay? You're doing a little too good. I may <laughs> feel threatened. Well, maybe I can because you're losing your job in me. Oh! Gosh, well, I guess she just brought up a sensitive subject, so we'll just move on from there. All right, thank you, Ivy. Are you going to have a vest that's open? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we were talking to Sam about Dancing for the Stars, and I guess we're supposed to be talking about... <laughs> Hold yourself together. Special Olympics athletes from Abilene to San Angelo who are here in town. You want me to read yours? Okay. <laughs> They're uh, swimming and it's back after all these years to Abilene and we have the story from Cocktail Hour. It starts at 5.30 and the show starts at 6.30. Tickets are $25 at the door. Well, a statewide poll found wide support for farmland preservation, and many people were willing to put their money behind the effort. The poll by Boise State University School of Public Policy found that residents of Idaho's Treasure Valley area considered agriculture to be the region's most important economic sector. They even favored preserving farmland over creating more affordable housing when asked to choose between the two. Uh, 1,000 Idaho residents participated in the survey. I apologize. Well, today is the Powerball's 25th anniversary. The game began 25 years ago in 1992. <laughs> the Idaho Lottery is celebrating by offering historic events and statewide promotions to commemorate the event. Throughout the years, Powerball has sold over $766 million worth of tickets in Idaho alone. And there have been a total of five jackpot winners in the gym state. I, I really apologize. I really do. Uh, scientists are having a whale of a good time in the South Pole. Find out what they're doing next. Mike's not on. Let's take, let's take the old. It's one. Is that probably my microphone's off? It's on turn. Should we just start the story all over again? Let's start it over again. Petronia Puswan has been there all day. So Petronia is uh, partying in full swing yet? 
It is definitely in full swing. It's close to 9 o'clock and thousands of people are out here. It's like New Year's Eve out here in downtown Summerlin. A lot of people are here celebrating. Governor Brian Sandoval was even up here in this part.